Okay, we're gonna do some squats with the band. So, feet have to be a little bit wider if you've got a big tummy, because otherwise there's no room for your belly. So, feet are wide, give yourself your, your room for your tummy to drop down, okay? I'm going to hold the bands in, squeezing my shoulder blades. That's gonna give you an isometric workout for your back, okay? So you're working your whole body, really. Pull it in, don't let it pull you forward. It's going to want to, you have to resist with your muscles. Shoulders back, chest lifted, tummy tight. You're gonna sit back into it and come back up. Sit back into it, now notice my knees. My knees stay right over my heels when I squat. They are not going forward. That's bad for your knees, okay? You don't want to hurt your knees, especially right now when you're prego. So you want to make sure that booty sits right back. You do not have to go very low for this to be effective. Squatting is a great exercise to get you ready for labor. So doing them, even if you just do a tiny movement, you're still working the same muscles, okay? So it doesn't matter how low you go. It matters that you do them at all. So pulling it in, tummy's tight, shoulders back, chest lifted. Let's do 10 good solid ones. So we've got 10. Dig your weight into your heels. It's okay to lean forward. That's how you counterbalance your weight, okay? That's why you're able to stick your booty back behind you and keep your knees over your heels. Squeezing. Now if you want to, you can add two together and do a row and a squat. That's advanced, so you don't have to do that. Let's do four more. Four, suck it in, chest up. Three, squeeze your booty. Keep an eye on form. Last one. And one. Good job.